Hi everyone and welcome to the United African Blockchain Association's launch of Women in AI and Blockchain. I'm Lisa Short and I am one of the board members. I'm the Director of Learning and Ecosystems. Really proud to have that role, really proud to represent the organisation and the association and really thrilled to be here tonight. Congratulations to Yalloway and to Anita for starting this initiative um, to bring women and supporters of AI and blockchain together in Johannesburg and be the representatives and start of something that's going to be really big across the African continent and the African nations. I have a real passion for working in Africa. Um, one, because I believe there's a huge potential for this technology to empower um, communities, marginalised people, people who previously have never had an opportunity, for example, to be um, educated, to have an identity, to be banked, um, to have assets and land and other things registered in their names. Um, so there's a huge, a huge advantage to this technology um, to embrace and run with. But I think one of the things that is really, really critical, um, given, given this is a, a, a night about women, um, is it is it also the time um, for a conversation of change that's occurring around the world. And that conversation of change is delivering a very clear message uh, in this sector in particular that women are here and we're on the centre stage and we're actually going to pick up the gauntlet and run with it. And many people have asked why that's the case. Um, and I have reflected on that quite a lot um, over the last, probably in particular, last 12 months as I've travelled the world and I've attended events and I've been to the UN and I've been to a number of, of global events in this sector. One of the reasons I think is for the first time that women are truly being able to enter an industry where there's a huge social entrepreneurship and an entrepreneurial spirit. And I think in many ways that's offering women flexibility in, in work. It's also offer the, offering them a new financial freedom, a way to build independence and financial growth and sustainability as they move forward. But I think it's also a way of bringing in um, often marginalised women who previously may never have had a career and can now find a career um, that fits in with uh, all, the, all, the, all the things in their life that we have to manage. And predominantly, whether we like it or not, we still juggle a majority of those things um, in family lives and community lives around the world. We're incredible beings that we can do all those things and now move forward into this industry in the amazing ways that we have. So congratulations to Anita and to Yalloway for bringing this initiative together. It's really quite extraordinary. And I know one of the things that they're going to announce, and I'm really sad that I'm not there to do it, is the fact that one of the initiatives of the Blockchain Association in Africa is that they are going to educate one million people, probably first time learners in this sector, with regards to blockchain education, what it is, what a cryptocurrency is, how do you how do you buy them, how do you store them, how do you how do you develop those programs and those applications? And I know that's going to be announced tonight. So that is really, really, really exciting. And I'm working with a number of players around the world to ensure that we have the right infrastructure, the right credibility, the right programs to ensure that women and anybody who conducts that education moving forward will have employability skills. Which also means we have to connect those people and those newly developed talents to an employability market and opportunities for employment moving forward. So one of my roles globally is that I work with businesses to determine what their key challenges are and then I introduce them to the um, technologies, frontier technologies, including distributed ledger um, technology and blockchain technology, but also AI and data make sure that they're educated, they understand the potentials, they can build a business case and they can move forward and deploy and advance the potentials of those technologies to make their businesses sustainable, reduce their costs, make their businesses more efficient um, and value people uh, in the community that we have. So that's a very important role. The other part that I do is I deliver in essence the same process but at a global level in terms of global challenges. Um, we have until 2030 to deliver on the sustainability goals uh, and we're nowhere near um, reaching those targets. And interestingly, when I was at the UN um, in June this year, it was quite categorically stated that SDG 5, which is about gender equity, is the most critical of the, the SDGs. And unless we achieve 
gender equity across the globe, we will not achieve the SDGs. The other one that was really made important was SDG 17, which is about partnerships. And I think that's something that the United African Blockchain Association is demonstrating really well by engaging globally with um, partners who can help them deliver on their intent. So tonight's a really important night. Um, I can only um, say that my journey uh, into this sector, uh, and I've had a very eclectic past from business to management to resources to mining to ageing to health, um, and then of course into entrepreneurial um, activity and building businesses that utilise technologies. And my pathway into to blockchain wasn't one that I planned on, but it's one that landed at my feet and I couldn't be more thrilled by it because it's taken me all over the world. It has certainly delivered a clear message of change um, that we can now make society a better place. We can make the way we conduct business very different. We can impact socially um, the way that our world um, delivers um, on the SDGs and they're all really important um, goals of mine. So congratulations everybody for being here. I urge and encourage every single person that's in this room tonight whether it be a, a, a woman or whether it be a supporter of a woman who's here or whether it be a man who's here who's engaging for the first time in blockchain and distributed ledger technologies and starting to learn what in fact they actually are, is use education. It will be the key um, to unlocking and advancing the potentials and getting this technology accepted into far-reaching capacities across the globe, but particularly across the African um, continent and the African nations within the African Union. So have a wonderful night. I'm really sorry I can't be there, um, but I will certainly uh, reach out to anybody who wants to connect with me um, through LinkedIn. And again, have a wonderful night. I urge you all to sign up to an education program and go forth and learn about this technology. Take it back to your communities, educate your children, your grandparents, everybody that you can on its potentials. Um, you know, it is just amazing. So if nothing else comes out of this, that we get an identity for every single man, woman and child on this globe and every single man, woman and child on this globe has the ability to be banked and get an education, then that alone is extraordinary. Have a great night. I look forward to meeting you all in real, in real life uh, and certainly don't hesitate to, to reach out. Thanks for that. See ya.